Hey guys, my name is Sherry Divband and I'm an intuitive healer. I have a wellness center in Bethesda, Maryland called Intuitive Wellness. I'm making this video today because I have been guided by my uh, spiritual team to start getting messages out as soon as possible for a lot of people who have who are awakening at this time and have a lot of questions and I follow a lot of healers all over the world and they are doing their part in making videos and getting messages out and I've been reluctant to do the same for quite some time because those of you that know me um, I'm a little shy and a little introverted and I don't like having the focus on me I do really well in small groups I have a spirit circle and I'm happy to guide many of my friends and my um, clientele in any way possible um, but my guide said that's not good enough I have to get the word out and messages out so bear with me this is my first time making a video I hope that I get the message across that they want me to get at this time I'll probably be doing videos weekly um, moving through the fall and winter during what we call uh, this ascension process that the world is shifting into um, a new earth a fifth dimension there are a lot of different things that people are calling it, but nevertheless, the idea is that we're moving into a more um, higher vibrational state. And a lot of people are walking around a little bit lost, confused, and there are a lot of questions. So I'm gonna do my best to answer them a little bit at a time. So today, what I wanted to focus on is the, um, over the next few months, how to navigate through dense, uh, fear and anxiety or the emotions associated with that and how do we process those and how do we release those so that we are not um, brought down into that energy and that density if you think about earth on a three-dimensional field uh, people are um, walking around in a very dense environment because we have a lot of fear right now we have the riots going on the election there's a lot of anger, there's a lot of resentment, there's a lot of worry, there's chaos. And so if you um, if you place those emotions into an energy or a vibration, it's quite low. And so those people walking around, or many of us are walking around in that vibration, and we're having a really hard time or we're struggling to get out of that vibration because it's actually not natural. Our humans, um, our souls rather, uh, want to be in a higher vibration. That's where we are at our best. And we are, when we are um, lower due to our environment or our emotional well-being, uh, we have a difficult time processing that and our bodies sometimes have reactions to it such as insomnia, headaches, uh, stomach aches, things like that. And so my guides really want me to get the message across to people that we really have more control than we think we do. Um, I wrote a book called Intuitive Transformation Evolution and the entire purpose of the book was to relay the, the message across to people that we are always in control and our emotions really do dictate our well-being. We just don't realize that we have more control than we actually do. So we can remain in the energy or the vibration of fear, anger, whatever we're dealing with in that, in that time of our, um, our now moment. Um, but at the end of the day, if you remove yourself from... Um, if you take yourself back um, and you release that fear and anger and, re and realize that it's such a small fraction of time that really doesn't mean anything, then we're able to raise our vibration into a space of peace and harmony and love um, and joy and, um, and, and our soul really yearns and is at balance or in alignment with that vibration. So because of the, because the next few months are gonna get um, more difficult. Um, what I'm excited about and what I really want to get the message across is we are headed into a much more high vibrational state. The whole world, humanity, the consciousness, the collective consciousness is waking up. So my guides or um, who I am channeling uh, want, to re want to be referred as the um, the Council of Light. Couldn't think of the word for a second. The Council of Light. 
and the messages that I'm going to be relaying are through them and what they want humanity to understand and recognize and how we can navigate through these next few months as we process and transition into a higher vibration collectively. So the more people are waking up in the last few years or probably the last 10 to 15 years, but more condensely that I have seen, that my clients have come to me anywhere from the ages of 20 to 70 are suddenly in their life having this epiphany or this thought, there's got to be more to life than this. And that's true. So it's all about having to reprogram the mind that we need to take ourselves out of this matrix that we have been placed in throughout our whole lives through programming, through the television, through our parents, through friends, family, of what we feel like we need to mold ourselves into. And now is of time for us to break out of that and discover who we are individually, who our soul is, who the essence of who we are actually is so that we can raise our vibration and be in a, in a better state of being. And I believe that's where we're transitioning to. So although we are in a really dense, negative, uncertain time with COVID and the election, um, and riots right now, we are moving into such a beautiful space. But because we're in this three, third dimensional um, realm, this matrix, um, our, it's, it's, time is slow. We live in this time matrix. So time is very slow and it's, it takes time for us to catch up. So although the collective consciousness of humanity, a majority of it, um, has moved into a higher vibrational state or the fifth dimension or however you want to refer to it, the physicality of the collective all the human beings on the earth have to catch up and that's what we're in the process of right now so i can see and many healers can see or many intuitives however you want to say it if if you look if we look into the future we can actually see a better um a, a collective awakening where we are in a higher vibrational state there's more peace there's no more harmony there's a lot of things going on that um I've been instructed not to get into spe specifics just yet because I don't know that my viewers are quite ready to hear all of those details. But the good news is, is that where we're headed is a, a beautiful, beautiful space in time where the motivation of humans is going to shift into what is really important for us. What do we enjoy? Um, spending time with family, work will not be the motivating factor in life. Money will not drive us any longer because we are going into a space of, of wanting and yearning for a society or humanity that is based on a space of service. So we have a lot of light beings and a lot of people all over the earth wondering how they can make the world a better place or what they can do, what, what is their role? How, what, what, are, what are they able to do? And what I can say to you right now is just hold the space. It's really important that a majority of, the, of humanity can bring themselves out of the dense environment that we're in, raise their vibration and hold it. Hold the space for those that are not ready, not willing, um, or just not able to at this time. And that's okay, because if a majority of us are able to keep things up, and my guides gave me a metaphor of, if you think about all the dense energy that's, and, and it's gonna be closer to earth, right? So it's in this matrix. If you can visualize or visualize that as um, like a dark matter, and raise, if you raise yourself out of it, and you can imagine yourself being on this white, fluffy cloud, and you're sitting on this cloud, and you're looking down at all of that and saying, oh, I don't like the way that feels. It feels icky, it, 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 it's, not, it's not healthy. Um, I don't like, I don't wanna be in that energy. You raise yourself up out of it by choice, by choosing not to watch the television, not to watch the news, not to take a part of it. Um, the other morning I received a message when I was uh, having trouble sleeping, it was early in the morning, and my guides came to me and they said, you need to let give people the message that the earth is shifting. There's a lot of negativity on the earth right now and how people choose, individual people choose to react to that reality, good or bad, is going to determine what timeline you are on. So we need to stay in the light. So if you choose to react to that negativity, get angry, get upset about it, fester in that, perhaps go out and riot and do things 
uh, to contribute to that negative energy, then you're going to remain in that three-dimensional low vibrational density in that environment. But for those of us that say, you know what, this is what this is our now moment, but this is what, but I know that we're moving into a better space. Things are going to get better. We are raising up our vibration and we're literally sitting on this beautiful cloud and we're floating above and we're holding the space so that those as people are ready can come join us up on this cloud and we can hold that space so that we can transition into a fifth dimension. The fifth dimension is going to um, dissolve the lower vibrational energy beautifully. You know, um, as people, our bodies are able to process fear and low vibrational energy very easily if you allow it. So the energy flows through, and if you will choose to release it, it will pass right through you. But for those people who are remaining angry about what uh, the presidential candidates and riots and racism and all of those things, then they will hold on to that energy. And it may, that energy may not actually be theirs. It could be the energy of the people that are around them. And, and they're like, I don't even know why I'm so angry right now. I'm, I'm actually not angry, but I feel angry. And that's because people are bringing and taking on energy from their atmosphere or other people or, or the energy that comes through the television that's negative when you see the riots and, and bad things happening and shootings and, and so forth. So the idea is that you take that in and say, gosh, I recognize it. I don't like the way it feels and I'm choosing to um, release it. Then you literally make a choice and say, I'm not going to hold on to this. I'm going to let it go. I'm going to channel this energy into, um, and, and dissolve it and alchemize it, process it, release it. However, whatever word resonates with you, that is your choice. So if more people on the earth choose to say, I don't like this. I don't want to participate in this. I actually like the idea of this ascension process, this new awakening. It excites me. Um, I know we're moving into a better life, a better space, a uh, better time for our children, whatever comes to mind, then you hold on, keep that energy because that's what's gonna raise your vibration and release the fear and release the anxiety. And I think that that's what my guides are trying to, that want me to relay that message today so that as things get worse before they get better, and I, I actually think that that's likely what's going to happen over the next few months, it's gonna get worse before it gets better, but that's okay because like I said, physicality, the human beings on this three-dimensional plane have to catch up, but we've already made it to the other side. We've already made it to the fifth dimension. We've already made it to this new earth, this new humanity, ascension process, whatever you wanna to refer to it as, we've already, we're already there. Those people that choose not to believe it, not to understand it, or not to move out of the space that they're currently in, if it's negative or low, ultimately at the end of the day, that'll be their choice. That's the timeline that they're choosing to be in, and that's okay because if we hold the space for them over here, they can join us, ideally. At some point, they will join us. So we're holding the space. If you, the as we go into the winter months, um, in fall and winter, um, a lot of people are afraid of COVID and, and the flu and flu season and all of that. And I just want to remind everybody that just as our emotional well-being is in our control, our, our immune system is also very much in our control. So if we remain in a low vibrational, dense in, um, vibration, our frequency rather, uh, our immune system is not operating at its best. So if we can process and release that fear and anxiety and say, I don't like this and I'm not, I'm not gonna play in this, I'm not playing in this playground, I wanna go into this other playground. That's, um, that's more, and it doesn't have to be so extreme. It doesn't have to go from fear, anger, and resentment all the way to bliss and peace and joy and happiness because I don't want people to feel like they have to fake it. But if you can come with, at least bring yourself out of the dense negative environment and into an in-between space where you're just acknowledging it and releasing it and, and choosing not to participate in it and saying, I am, I am excited about what is to come and change it to more of an excitement because then you're gonna switch into this parasympathetic mode and your immune system will be at peak because we are in an optimal balanced state where our body is able to actually fight off anything that comes towards us. But if we are in a low dense vibrational frequency, then we might actually attract those viruses to us and then we have this I told you so moment and, and we are actually, what we don't realize is we're actually attracting that energy towards us. So if we 
say, I'm not gonna participate in this, I'm releasing it. I'm so excited about what's to come. A lot of people that work with me, can, they, um, they laugh at me because they're like, why are you so happy? This is a, such an uncertain time. And I'm, and I'm like, because I'm so excited about where we're going. I'm literally excited all the time. I feel this burst of excitement throughout the day. I'm human just like everyone else. So I also have my moments of uncertainty and fear. Um, and, and that's okay because I recognize it immediately and I say, okay, this is just in the now moment. You know, I'm, I'm afraid right now. I'm stressed out right now, but that's okay. And then I release it and then I think about, okay, but what is to come? And then I become excited. Then my vibration will rise instantly. And then my immune system is able to function properly. I'm in that parasympathetic mode. I'm not in that sympathetic fight or flight uh, mentality where the body is responding with cortisol and adrenaline and all of these survival hormones in the body, which then suppresses the immune system. So we need to get out of that and we need to recognize that it is our choice. So what we choose to do during these next few months as we navigate through the negativity and things that are gonna happen, uh, how can we keep our vibration high so that we are able to actually feel excited for what's to come? because I don't want you to just take my word for it. Just know that there are thousands of, probably millions of people talking about it all over the world. They can, there's this vision, we can see it, and we're holding the space for all of you to come join us. And so the ways that you can raise your vibration is one, just being mindful and aware of your emotional well-being because it's important. I talk about that, that's the entire purpose of my book is if we were just, if we can just be aware of our emotional well-being, we can raise our vibration instantly because it's a choice. It's a choice to decide how long you're gonna remain in that lower vibrational energy of anger, or fear, or whatever it may be. That's your choice. And so your vibration will stay in that emotional energy as long as you choose. So if we let it go and say, oh, I don't like this anymore. I don't like the way it feels because our souls, our, our bodies don't like the feeling of being in a low vibrational state because then we have physical responses to that. We have uh, um, insomnia, like I said, headaches can come up, stomach aches, all of that. So your physical body is telling you, warning, warning, I don't like the way this actually feels. Can we get out of this? And so your body is telling you too, I don't like how this feels. And so we have to process it and release it and say, I'm getting rid of it. I don't want it. So one of the easiest ways to kind of work your way through that is through breathing. So that's my number one. That's the one I always tell people, just breathe through it because it's so simple that anybody can do it and it doesn't take any sort of education to figure out how to do it because breathing is natural for us. And it's a, it's a, um, it's a protective mechanism as well to bring us from sympathetic to parasympathetic mode, just simply by breathing. So if you're mindful about your breaths, what I like to tell people is, do this exercise once a day for whatever you're feeling in the moment, any low vibrational energy. So you're, you're really upset about, about certain things that happen in that day or around the, that are happening around the world. So you stand outside if you can, um, or just have your feet planted on the ground and you just take a, deep, a few deep breaths in and your intention, because our intention is so powerful. Tell, in your mind, say, I'm releasing all of the energy that I'm feeling right now. And you can go through the emotions, the fear, the anxiety, the uncertainty, whatever it is. Take deep breaths in and breathe it in, feel it for that moment. And then your intention is, I'm going to release it now. And then when you exhale, you actually do release it. And if you do that exercise with seven or eight breaths, you know, within a one, one minute period or so, because you don't wanna breathe fast, you're not hyperventilating. You're taking deep, mindful breaths. Deep breath in, hold it for a second and feel it, and then release it slowly. And as you do that over a minute, 30 seconds, a minute, two minutes, you will literally feel yourself shift from a sympathetic mode to a parasympathetic mode. You will feel lighter. Your heart rate will decrease. You will just feel more at peace. You might even sink into the chair. You might feel like a weight is lifted because energy is absolutely, there's a weight to it. When you are in a low, dense, um, energetic vibration, it feels heavy. That's why people walk around saying, I feel like I have an elephant on my, back, on my back. I love elephants. I have them all over the place, but I don't want to carry an elephant on my back. Certainly, that's, that, that is, that, that's more burden than I want to carry. So we want to release that. So as you exhale, each time you exhale, you're releasing the energy that's heavy. And that's why it takes several breaths. One to two minutes is actually what I recommend. So don't, it doesn't matter necessarily how many breaths you take, just give it time. 
And if you do that exercise every single day, you will feel like, gosh, I'm really in charge here. I'm really aware. I'm really mindful of my emotions and my vibration and how I'm feeling. And you will feel better. And when you actually feel better, then you actually will have an easier time getting excited about what's to come. So my main message is today, um, because my guys gave me this uh, three things you need to know. So I guess uh, today, the three things you need to know, and then and then I, I can guess that my videos moving forward are gonna be the three things that you need to know at this time. So today, it's all about alchemizing fear and negative energy and really understanding how our emotions are gonna dictate our well-being moving forward in this uh, ascension process, this transformational process that uh, humanity collectively is going through. Um, and understand, actually, uh, uh, as I say that, I, I'm reminded that everybody's going through it. So try your best not to be patient with others because everybody's on their own journey or everybody's driving their own vehicle and it's in different speeds. You know, there's different sizes to the vehicle. And so people, um, be patient because some people might take longer. Um, and so uh, be patient with your friends and family as they're also trying to navigate through these next few months of anger, fear, uncertainty and all of that and, and, and understand and recognize that everybody has their own journey and everybody reacts to things differently. So the, um, the, next, the next thing that they want me to make sure is that you recognize your immune system is going to be highly um, affected by that emotional well-being. So keep that in mind. We want to raise our vibration as high as we can for as long as we can so we can cruise control as best possible or hibernate through these next few months. Because if you think about it, fall is a, is a time of reflection. Okay, so fall, if you think about physically, as the leaves fall from the trees, as you walk outside, do this exercise, and you notice that the leaves are falling, the tree is releasing things. We are encouraged at this time to just release all that no longer serves our highest good at this time. We don't want to carry that into winter time because winter time is really about a, a time of um, rest. Okay, so that's, you know, the bears hibernate. We can't hibernate because we are still living uh, beings that have jobs and children and things that we're doing. So we can't go to sleep for three months, but we um, where it's a time of rest. So let the body and the soul rest. We've released a bunch in the fall. Now in the winter time, it's time to rest. And then the spring comes around and it's like we're reborn. Like the, the new higher uh, version of ourselves, the best version of ourselves is then reborn and we are encouraged to then live it in the summertime and then in the fall comes around again and it's time to release all that no longer serves us all the things that kind of care care we carried out throughout the summertime that we don't need anymore and we and, and we release it so think about that as the fall months come through the leaves start falling off the trees try to envision yourself as a tree and allow your leaves to fall those things that you don't need so that in the winter time you don't carry it with you so that when we go to uh, to this new earth where we ascend as a collective, as all of us, as humanity ascends, we are not bringing those burdens with us. It doesn't matter anymore because at the end of the day where we're headed, none of this is going to have anything to do with where we're going. We're going into a much higher vibrational, um, more peaceful existence. And it's really, really exciting. And, and, and those of you that know me know that a big part of my focus is on uh, children because not only because I have children but I truly believe that children are are um, are going to dictate our future and so it's all about how we raise them now how they navigate through this period of time um, and all the beautiful new earth children that are have been are continuing to be born and have been uh, coming into this earth's plane for the past 15 years more specifically in the last 10 and so let's not forget about them and help your children as much as possible navigate through this negativity. And just remember those parents out there, uh, your children, um, their energy is highly dependent or influenced by yours. So if your vibration is low, there's a good chance that their vibration is gonna be affected. So just try to be mindful of the space that you're holding for them and understand that they too are going through all of this and processing this and but the only difference is they don't quite understand everything that's happening and that's okay because it's our job to make sure that they understand to some degree to some level or at least hold the space of of the highest vibration we can so that they can navigate through this period and they are less likely to become affected by all of this okay so i think that that's most of the messages for today um, get excited and I'm going to make more videos 
uh, despite the fact that I don't like the attention on myself, I am working through that. I am processing my own insecurities. So please be kind to my videos and, um, and uh, I'll probably do more throughout the next coming weeks as the um, light beings uh, relay messages that they feel is uh, important for you to know at this time. So be mindful, be aware, release, and just know that we are ascending together. And I'll talk to you soon.